Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over your contacts, which is your CRM, which stands for your customer relationship management, and your inbox. So here on our dashboard, we're going to start out by going to contacts and click on contacts. So Wix has a lot of great functionality to help you keep track of all your clients, all the actions they've taken on your website. So let's go ahead and click on one of the demo contacts that they have here. And you can see here when you bring up that contact, oops, um, you can go through here and you can edit that contact. You can also, so obviously all of their basic information, you can also add a new field. So I know a lot of times I like to have their company name on here, or you can add, um, I don't think it's on here, custom field for, let's say their website. We're going to go ahead and we're going to say it's a URL and that's their website. So you can really come in here and add any kind of information that's important for you to have for a specific contact and then go ahead and save. And you can see here again, there's a lot of information. So your inbox, which I'm going to go over in a minute, but right here is, this is really cool. This is going to have their activity log. So once you have more contacts, they're taking a lot of actions on your site, they're booking appointments, they're purchasing things. All of that is going to be here. It's going to show when they received emails from you, if they open them, if they bounce, it's going to Anything that that contact does on your site, this activity log is going to show it here. So that's a pretty cool feature. Again, we're going to go into the inbox in a minute. You can come in here. Oh, before I get to notes, this is what I mentioned in that dashboard um, tour. You can go ahead and add a task. So you can put like follow up. You can select a date. And then when you come in here to your tasks and reminders, that is going to be in your tasks and reminders, and it's going to also show that contact. So that's pretty cool. Let's go back here to Dan. Oops, you can see here if you click on it, it gives you kind of a quick overview, and then you can view the contact here. So tasks and reminders, you can come through here and you can make notes. This is going to show all of their invoices, their orders, their bookings, their subscriptions. And then there's one more cool feature here too. If you notice, I don't know why they're giving me that pop up. But here you can put attachments so you can see in this contact that they put their business card. So if you've got any specific files that are associated with that contact, you can put them here. So pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go into now our communication, your inbox. So this is really cool because it is going to give you um, this prompt to go ahead and set up your inbox. You can take a tour. But one of the most important things, because you are going to most likely be having people contact you both through your email and through Wix. So you do want to set up your inbox here and you want to go ahead and set up all of your Gmail sender address, send yourself a test email. And then, like I said, you can come in here and take the tour if you want. But this is where you really want to. It's going to let you, after you get the main thing set up, then it's going to allow you to connect your um, Gmail to this inbox so that they're going to be connected. So again, I wanted to just give you a brief overview. I'm going to go into the chat function in another video. Let me just point out really quick. I actually really love this. I have got a business number for all of my businesses that I have a Wix website. So you can get a business number through Wix. That way... You know when someone's calling you, if it's a business call or if it's a personal call, but it's going to come to your own cell phone. You can actually send texts through Wix. You can send automated texts. So if that's something that interests you, I definitely suggest that you check out getting that business number. And then let me see here. And then I talked about that business email. So you can set up your Gmail account if you don't have one yet, blank at yourdomain.com. So again, that's something you can do after you set up that custom domain. So like I said, after um, or right before you launch your site or right after, I definitely suggest that you come in here, take that tour and go ahead and get that inbox all set up. 